Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is JC. Welcome and today I'm going to be sharing with you three really easy Super Bowl party appetizers. going to be making is a cheddar bacon ranch dip. Y'all know this is one of our favorite dips, but today I'm actually going to pair it with some vegetables. So I'm going to make a small little veggie tray, but instead of just using regular ranch dip, I'm going to amp it up a notch and we are going to add in some cheddar cheese and some bacon bits. I think it's going to be really good. So all you need for this dip is about 16 ounces of sour cream, a cup to a cup and a half of cheddar cheese. You can kind of play around with that if you want more or less whatever you want to do will be fine and then we also do about a half a cup of bacon bits you pour that in a bowl and you mix it up really well and then you pop it in the fridge and you leave it there for about three to four hours the longer it sits in the fridge the better it's going to taste you really want all those flavors to come together kind of marinate in the fridge and it just really makes this a lot better so now that this is done we are going to move on and do some barbecue chicken in the crock pot so for this barbecue chicken i'm just getting out some chicken breast and then we are going to use our favorite barbecue sauce which is the sweet baby ray's original and i'm just taking these chicken breasts throwing them in my crock pot and i'm gonna pour over about a cup to a cup and a half of some barbecue sauce you can do more or less but really i just want this to get nice and juicy and tender and then later on we're going to shred it up and use it for something else so super super easy i'm going to pop the lid on and this is going to cook for about four to six hours so now that our chicken has been going for about an hour to an hour and a half i'm going to go ahead and get started on our cheese dip now i know cheese dip is a really popular side for kind of any party but especially during um, the super bowl or football or basketball parties whatever you have going on um, but it just pairs really well with what we're making today so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a smaller crock pot that I have so I'm gonna do some Velveeta I'm just gonna chop this up pretty small I'm gonna do about a half a can of Rotel it's just us two here today so I really don't need a lot of this cheese dip and then we're also gonna add in a half a can of ranch style beans I love adding this to my cheese dip I really just think it takes it up a notch it adds a little bit more flavor and I love a good ranch bean so I think it pairs perfectly in here if you really wanted to bulk this up you could also add in some um, ground beef you could do some sausage maybe some Italian sausage and just brown that up before you put it in here I have done that before and it's really delicious that way so just kind of play around with this but this is all I'm doing to this so I'm going to pop the lid on and I'm gonna cook this on low it's not gonna take it very long to melt down um, so I don't want it to burn so popping the lid on it's going on low and then we will come back and check it here in just a little bit so now that our barbecue chicken is done, I'm going to go ahead and take two forks and just shred this up. It's really tender, it's falling apart, so this is not hard to do. And I'm going to set this to the side and then I'm gonna go ahead and get out a can of crescent rolls. And I'm going to kind of break these apart, separate them out and put them on a baking sheet. And then I'm gonna take that barbecue chicken and I'm going to place it inside each crescent roll. And then I'm gonna to top it off with some Monterey Jack cheese. We we are using this kind but you can use cheddar you can use provolone mozzarella whatever you want to use will be perfectly fine and taste really good in these and then i'm just going to top it with the cheese roll these up and then place them in the oven you're just going to want to cook this on whatever the back of your crescent roll says so i think 350 to 375 for about 12 to 15 minutes just kind of watch yours you cannot mess these up you just want to make sure that your crescent rolls are done and that cheese is nice and melted while that is in the oven i'm going to go ahead and wash and prep and cut up our vegetables i'm going to do some celery i'm going to do some carrots i'm going to do some cherry tomatoes and a cucumber all of these will pair really nicely with that dip so just wash them really well and then cut them up however you want to i'm kind of making them into handheld kind of bite sizes that way you can easily dip this um, and you can kind of make this pretty if you want it's just us two at home so I'm not going completely overboard but you could even make a little charcuterie board out of this 
I am going to pair this as well with some Ritz crackers. So I'm going to put them on the board too. They just pair really nicely with that dip and that is a personal favorite of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then assemble my board and then I will show you all everything here in just a minute at the end once all of those come out of the oven and our cheese dip is nice and done. So here is our game day spread and I love this. I love how it turned out. Um, of course we have our cheese dip and our little crock pot and I really think this crock pot is so festive and I got two for like $10. So if I can still find these, I'll link them. Um, but we are the Razorback. So Razorback red, really festive and fitting and then some chips to go with that. And then here are these barbecue crescent rolls. I'll give y'all a little up close version um, if it'll focus, but these are so good another thing you can do with your barbecue is kind of just put it out and people can make barbecue nachos that would be really good and then we have our little veggie plate our little veggie charcuterie board whatever you want to call it um here's that dip again i did the crackers some tomatoes cucumbers carrots celery you can add whatever you want but i love this and i think it turned out really cute Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some recipe inspiration for maybe your Super Bowl party or if you have any kind of other party or event coming up, these recipes will be perfect and really easy to take with you. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank y'all for watching. If you are new here, I would love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.